Behind me is the Alhambra, part of the great legacy of Al-Andalus, Islamic Spain. The last Muslims were actually booted out 400 years ago along with the Jews, but Islam is resurgent in Spain as it is throughout Europe. Only in Spain, a group of Muslims are drawing on the legacy of Al-Andalus to create a distinctively Iberian variant of the religion. Spain was under Islamic rule for 800 years. In that time, it flourished as a center for learning and the arts. Islam was the dominant religion, but other faiths were tolerated. That phenomenon is known in Spanish as convivencia, which means living together, though historians disagree about the degree of tolerance. I went to meet Professor Mustafa Akalai to ask him about it. Hi, Marcel, enchanté. Pareil. Llegaron a convivir de una manera que hoy el arabista Jacques Berck, que era una de las mejores convivencias que hubo en Europa era al Andaluz. Había un respeto en el sentido que tú podías tener derecho a ejercer tu culto y una sociedad que era musulmana pero que aceptaba al cristiano, al judío. Lo que dice Juan Gotisolo, el gran escritor, que aquí sufrimos de una amnesia histórica. No conocemos la memoria. This was a mixed area before the Reconquista. There was a Jewish area here, but also there was a Muslim cemetery where they found bodies that were buried facing east. So this was a multicultural city before the Reconquest. After the Kingdom of Granada fell in 1492, Muslim rule in Spain came to an end. The country was fiercely Catholic, exporting the religion to its colonies and deeply intolerant of both Jews and Muslims. With the death of General Franco and the end of the dictatorship in 1974, a small number of Spaniards became interested in the country's Islamic past. Zakaria Maza converted to Islam in 1981. I asked him how he came to his decision. Y entonces esto esto supuso muchos días de tertulias con mis amigos alrededor de la mezquita de Córdoba. Es un significado grande. Este es el legado Andalusíes no son solo piedras, no, debe de ser, haber algo espiritual también. El Islam es tan algo, tan, un método para poner tan en práctica que, que te da paz a tu corazón. El hecho de la sumisión al Creador te da paz en tu corazón y duermes tranquilo. Esto es lo primero y te da una serie de prioridades. El Islam pone orden en tu vida. Lo cual antes era un caos. The Muslim converts are known in Spanish as conversos. On a hill overlooking the Alhambra, a group of conversos has put up the first purpose-built new mosque in Spain for five centuries. I met Munira Mendonça, who was involved in the project. The design is based on the mikrab of the Mosque of Cordoba. When you say the mosque, it's actually a cathedral now, right? It's horrible. I, I, really, I don't go anymore. I refuse. We are trying to establish the Deen of Islam, the way of Islam, here. And this mosque, which is going to be eight years old since it's been open, we've been working on it for over 20, nearly 30 years. And it's incredible what's happening because it's like, first of all, the barrier, of the barrio, the neighborhood, everybody was against it. Everybody, the minaret was supposed to be higher. They didn't want you to have the minaret higher than something. We couldn't have it higher. That was a mosque, you see. Well, Every church you see here was a mosque right. in the Albaicin. And you see that it has the minaret, which now they've put, made it the steeple. While for a handful of Spaniards, embracing Islam signifies a historical return, the bulk of the country's 1.5 million Muslims are from North Africa. Grappling with issues of integration, some have mixed feelings about the conversos. If you are Spanish or if you are English or if you are German and you are converted to Islam, it doesn't mean that you represent the real Islam. Some of them, they feel a little bit lost and they try to have new experiences. I know many converted to Islam just because they had a bad time and they want to have, to have a new experience with a new thing. And right. after, change, everything changed. Well, because they, they, their culture they grew up in is not an Islamic culture. Exactly, exactly. And but that's a source of strength too, because then they, they, they understand two worlds, they can operate in two worlds, so they can be a bridge between... Yeah, but they, but they live in a Christian country. 
But so do you. Yes, but uh, I am, I am, I am, I, as they say, I am moral. This is my, it's me, this is my. You know you're an outsider. Exactly. While the number of conversos is tiny, around 10,000, they wield a disproportionate influence. These are members of the Junta Islamica, an organization that promotes civil rights for Muslims in Spain. It was founded by the late Mansur Escudero. My father, Mansur Escudero, he was the president of Junta Islamica. The Muslim community really acknowledged his work. Before his death in 2010, Mansur Escudero asked the Vatican to let Muslims worship at the Catholic Cathedral in Cordoba, a former mosque. Why don't uh, use using this symbol, the Cathedral Mosque, as a, a symbol of this coexistence and this exchange between civilization and religions, as a, a way to cooperate and to show to the world how it is possible that uh, the different religious communities live together. The cathedral in Cordoba was built as a mosque in the 8th century. It's one of the glories of Islamic architecture and for almost 500 years was a place of Islamic worship and intellectual excellence. But the church's response to Mansur's request was a firm no. Pedía el uso de la catedral como templo compartido, católicos musulmanes. Él hablaba de templo ecuménico. El ecumenismo no se da entre católicos y religiones, musulmanes o judíos. El ecumenismo se da entre iglesias cristianas. So you would like to have the right to, to pray in the, in, the, in the cathedral? It's not a question of right. No, we don't have right. We don't want any right to pray there. We want to show the world that Muslim and Christians can pray together and can join together a celebration for goods. It's a, a way of, of uh, recovering a, a lost history of, of being Spanish also, no? Because Spanish nationalism has been rooted in a very hard history of exclusion and we have to surpass this reality and to propose a new paradigm of understanding. And convivencia is this word that means tolerance in Spanish. Means tolerance means more than coexistence, more than that means uh, cooperation uh, and collaboration between. And is that a key part of your interpretation of Islam? Of course, it's it's central part of the Quranic message. Today, Muslims are expressly forbidden from any act of worship here and it seems very unlikely that this policy will change. Yet the building's mixed heritage is clear to every visitor. And it's hard not to sympathize with Mansur Escudero's desire to turn a symbol of conquest into a symbol of convivencia. <laughs>